welcome to Going Nuts with Glenn and Gracie. I'm Glenn the Baker. Mm -hmm. Oh no, you're not gonna. Oh, you're not gonna talk like that for the whole show, are you? Yeah, like the lady from uh, uh, Disneyland. No. no. You, you come back now. Please don't. Ooh. We already have trouble trying to get people to hear this shit. We don't need to do that. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to the show. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is our like Halloween episode. Yes. Uh, this Sunday is Halloween. Oh yeah. And next next Monday uh, we'll be back with the uh, Dia de los Muertos episode. That's right. And uh, and also this Friday we're going to the Nightmare Before Christmas concert. Yes. With nice. uh, with Danny Elfman and, and Billie Eilish. <laughs> oh wow! So what is that? Like a concert or something? It's the movie. We're uh -huh. gonna go, we're gonna go see the movie. Oh, and then, you see the movie and they play the and music. And then they, the orchestra oh, plays wow. the songs and then the people singing. Oh wow! Who sang in the movie are gonna be singing the songs. Well, you're kidding. When yeah. he sings about Christmas. Yeah, Christmas. that's Danny Elfman's voice, so he'll oh, okay. be there. And you oh, well, know, that's kind of cool, Glenn. The guy that does Oogie Boogie's voice will be there. I forgot the actor's name. Uh, and that's at the new Bank of California Stadium. And where's that at? It's where the LA Sports Arena used to be. It's the new soccer stadium. Oh, I have no idea where that's. You don't know where the sports arena used to be? LA Sports Arena right there by no. the Coliseum, by USC and all that? Okay, I know the Coliseum is at. So it, it, it's there. Oh! It's the new stadium. Okay. It's the new soccer stadium. It's called Bank of California Stadium. And that's where the show's gonna be. Oh, nice! So it's gonna be—it's outside then. Yeah. Okay, so it's sure. huge. It's gonna be a huge concert. Oh, make sure I dress warm. And yes. I and I and then on thirtieth I have a, a show which I'm really excited to do uh -huh. because I'm finally gonna do, get to do twenty minutes. You're twenty doing, minutes of comedy. You're doing a twenty minute set. I'm doing a twenty minute set. Do you have twenty minutes of material? I'm kidding. <laughs> I guess I do have twenty minutes. I'm always getting ten, ten, ten. And last week I did a, a, a new joke which is. I have, but I have some new jokes that I'm going to talk, I'm going to say. Okay. So, you know, with that 10 and that 10, that's 20. Uh, okay. Very comfortable and, and having what 20. Is, what is this event? This event, we've talked about it. It's, um, it's downtown LA and it's uh, a convention. Remember the A&N? A&N? What? I don't, huh? know. I don't know the initials. I what? Anyway, it's... Uh, Okay, I'm just doing a show for 20 minutes instead of convention. <laughs> she has no idea, yes, ladies I and gentlemen. Like, no uh, clue. No clue at all. Narcotics. The NAA. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. Nar what, it's the NA convention. Oh, yeah. NA convention. Which so. you've done before. Yeah, I've done that several times. So they have a convention, and you know, so every time, year. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they haven't had it for a while because of the whole COVID. Right. So this year they're having it at a hotel in downtown LA. Which and one? Is it, is it at the Cecil? Oh my gosh, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, he sent me a message today saying, uh, you have required to have a COVID test or you have vax. And I'm vaccinated, so I'm cool. Cool. So yeah, and then uh, Sunday is Halloween. Yes. So, you already got your candy. I saw that the other day when I was at your house. <coughs> I got Watching all... the dogs <coughs> game. Yeah, so rest in peace to uh, <coughs> the Dodger season. Yeah, rest in peace, Dodgers. We'll see you next year. See you next year. And that's that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Anyways, I'm, I'm we, 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 didn't, we didn't do anything. I mean, that's the only thing we're going to do for Halloween is uh, give out that, candy? that show uh -huh. on Friday. And give out candy. That's on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And uh, But we didn't do any of the... All the major parks had, you know, um, Halloween stuff. You know, Disneyland, Knott's. They're, they're all going to still do stuff, right? San Diego, uh, even San Diego uh, SeaWorld had a thing, uh, Six Flags. Wow. But anyways, I, I went to all of them on YouTube. I mean, there's so many channels. There's a channel where, you know, they go through every single maze. And then they even critique it afterwards. So, I mean, oh, so we're sure. good. So you don't have to go. <laughs> no. It actually kind of makes you want to go even more, but if you want to look at it that way, you don't have to go anywhere, man. You can just watch it all on, on YouTube. Oh, and nice. uh, there's a bunch of channels, uh, you know, the the Universal Studios uh, Halloween thing was cool. Uh, they had the, ex uh, the Exorcist Maze. Oh, wow. And, you know, you can 
watch it, like watch it on YouTube, <laughs> different angles and shit. That's kind of cool. <laughs> but anyways, um, I want to say a quick little shout out to whoever leaves comments on our on our YouTube channel. They've been leaving comments ever since we our first video. Oh really? And it's always these uh, weird like uh, like letters. It's just is like V O M dot. Uh, e something or EX or whatever oh. and we're like what the hell is this you know what kind of language is this sometimes there's like three of them on there really I was like what the hell is this so finally I just kind of like typed it in what is it it's an escort service what <laughs> oh my god or it's porn basically that's what that's what they're trying to do they're getting on our uh, on our videos and leaving you know links so do we to uh, porn sites or escort services so, on our videos. You know, I'm kind of flattered. <laughs> because they think that, you know, if people are going to look at our stuff, they might want to fuck us. <laughs> <laughs> why? I mean, why would they do that? I mean, look at, like, I would I would think that they, they try to do that to every every channel out there. You know, just to, see, time consuming, just to see how everybody, or, you know, who accidentally, you know, clicks on the link and might want to get one of these uh, services or whatever. Well, maybe they think I'm, you know, available for the service. <laughs> Anyways, they, yeah, they, they put it up every video, every video. This video will have one wow. and then they take it down. Oh, wow. Okay. And it's always like V-O-N dot something else, the three other letters. Or V O M or V O N or and all that stuff. <laughs> so you finally, anyways, you finally figured it out, huh? Yeah, I'm like, what is this? What kind of secret language is this? <laughs> yeah, we thought it was like some secret bullshit. Man, oh, God. Well, it is secret bullshit, but I guess we figured it. We figured out what it was. <laughs> oh man, that's funny, Glenn. Anyways, yeah. So I've got my uh, my Halloween shirt on. Yeah, and I got. My... What do you got on, Gracie? Well, I guess I have to stand up. Stand up. Because you can't see it. Can you see it? Oh, you can see it now. What does it say? It says trap. Shit, we're going to get, for sure, we're going to get some more of those VHM whatever of those. <laughs> more escort uh, more links. Escort. More escort. Instead of vamp, it says trap. Yeah. Which is very accurate. I'm kidding. No matter. <laughs> At my age, if I was a tramp, that'd be, no, that'd be terrible. Well, I've got on a Beasel uh, shirt for, uh, from uh, the Creepy Company. Oh, yeah, and that company's out of business now, right? Yeah, no. Beasel. <laughs> Beasel um, that's the Beasel cat. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's kind of cool. It's like a retro uh, mm -hmm. thing or whatever. So, anyways. But, so, I got to tell you, all I did yesterday on Sunday is just, just, I didn't get out of my bed. Lazy Sunday. I was lazy Sunday. I just sat and tried to catch up on some of my shows that I hadn't watched, uh -huh. like The Mass Singer. I hadn't seen that, so I had to, like, you know, a few episodes of How that is to that? watch. It's really good. They did have some really good artists on there. They had like... Um, so who's been unmasked? Um, Tiger? Tigger? Tiger? Is that what his name is? Tiger. Tigger? Tiger? Some rapper? Oh, okay. He got it. And they didn't even know it was him. And they started laughing when they saw him. And a lot of times <clears throat> it's funny because that Robin Thicke... It's like Tigger. You know, yeah. from, from Winnie the Pooh? Oh, no. You know, you know Robin Thicke? Is that yeah. like Robin? So a lot of times he's actually worked with some of these people that are on the show. And he can't and even he know. Can't, he can't he figure it out. Know they are. And then yeah. Tony Braxton was on there. She got kicked off. Really? But you know why? Because she because she has that disease. She has some kind of, um, I don't know what it is. But anyway, she had to wear a mask. So the whole time she was singing, she had a mask on. Okay. So that's when you couldn't really recognize her voice. But she got kicked off. She had a mask underneath the mask. Yeah. Okay. And then she, there was a, some, uh, I don't know. He, I don't know if he's, he, oh, well, he's a really tall, so he has to be a basketball, basketball player. Okay. He was, um, got kicked off. And. I have you recognized anybody on there? Like, you know what? I know exactly who that is. No, no you can't. You know how bad I am with music. Well, you don't have to be good at music. You just got to recognize the voice. Yeah, no, I haven't uh, recognized any. No, I did. I have. Um, when, um, oh gosh, what was that? What was it? She was a country western and she started when she, was, oh. when she was 13. Um, oh gosh. Country Western. She started when, when she, she was, was like 13. 13. Um, Leanne Rhymes. Exactly. I got Leanne Rhymes right. Okay. So that was. Um, you know who I guessed? I guessed Ricky Lake. I knew uh -huh. that was. I knew that was her. Uh -huh. And uh, oh, it, you you can't tell me you didn't know Tommy Chong. 
I, mean, I, I might not, who didn't know that? I might not have watched it, but I did know um what's his um, um Trejo. Danny Trejo. Okay, Danny Trejo. So you, like, you oh knew. my god. Oh yeah, there's you, some. Yeah, you, I gotta say. There's that, some you know. that where you look at him and you're like, I know that fucker. Oh yeah, and then um the cable guy was on there and he got kicked off. It's funny the first season. How funny is this? I was like, that's that's J C under that, you know. J C from, from NSYNC. NSYNC. Sounds sounds like Joey. But I know Joey's voice. That's not Joey. That's JC. And it ended up being Joey. <laughs> <laughs> I was very disappointed in myself. Oh, gosh. <laughs> but I only saw the first uh, season. So yeah. I haven't seen any of them since. Um, yeah, it's a, a, a fun show, I, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you, you know what? They have, they're, having, they're really starting to get some really good guests on there. Uh -huh. like, like, like Tony Braxton. Come on. And, um, oh, what's her name? The, one of the sisters from the Pointer Sisters. Okay. She was on it, but her and her sister were supposed to be on it together. But the one, she's, uh, she was, she got sick, so she couldn't be on it. So the one sister was on it, and she got, um, because, you know, they give you the clues. Uh-huh. How they give you clues and stuff. So, yeah, the Pointer, yeah. Pointer Sister, one of the Pointer Sisters, um, was on there. And she got, like, It's funny because the Spanish channel has, uh, has, has it too. Oh, yeah, I saw that, but I, I It's went, called, um, it's not Mass Singer, it's called... I think it's called Quien es la Mascara, which is basically who is the mask. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who anybody is or whatever. So. so should we talk about this movie you um, kind of got and you wanted us to watch? Oh yeah, so I watched a few movies over the weekend. I watched Dune. I was going to start watching I thought that. I thought it was awesome. I thought it was great. Did you watch the whole thing? Uh, yeah. Because when I went to go on it, it said, do you want to resume? So I wasn't sure if you watched it all. I've watched it like twice. Oh, okay. Already. So I didn't want to resume. I didn't want to watch it because I didn't want to um, mess up. But if you were like in the middle of it and you stopped and you wanted to resume where it was at. So I didn't, I didn't you watch You could do it. whatever you want. Okay. I just. Anyways, I saw that. That was great. I recommend it. Really? Okay. I have to. And then I rented that movie uh, Titan, which is the winner of the Palme d'Or this year, the Cannes Film Festival. I mean, Cannes Film Festival, that's the, for those who don't know, that's like the French Oscars, uh, you know, and it won Best Picture. And I checked it out. I had no expectations. I had no idea what the hell it was about. And I was like, what the fuck is it? <laughs> I know. It's one of those movies. Uh, without spoiling it, I mean... Well, I don't think anybody, our listeners, are going to watch it. Why not? They should. I know they should, but, you know, it, I, don't think if, I, don't, I think if we talk about it, it's not going to be a spoiler. No, it's not. Okay, look, it's about a young girl who gets in a car wreck with her dad at a young age. She has to have a steel plate in, 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 uh, planted in her head. And she becomes obsessed with cars. But wasn't she a brat? Like, you know, oh, yeah, she's a brat. She caused the accident. Yeah. Uh, they show that right off the bat. And uh, she becomes obsessed with cars, okay? She becomes a car model. Yeah, but she kind of like fucks the cars, like, you know, you, you're dancing. She's like a stripper on a car. That's what She's it was. She's a car model. Yeah. And, they're, you know, they're low riders and, and you she's, know, those kind of, you and, know, hot rods and that kind of shit. And she's really famous because everybody always wants her autograph. Yeah, she's stuff. a famous model. And she's also a serial killer. <laughs> That's not spoiler alert. You learn that right away. Yeah. And uh, it's that kind of... It's it's that double life. And first of all, it's subtitles, you guys. So, but I well, yeah, it's from France. Well, you know, and what I liked about this movie is that I'm always like, I don't like, to, I don't like subtitle movies because yeah. sometimes I miss the action while I'm reading. So it's like, you know, I can't have one eye watching and one eye reading. There's no wrong with subtitles. Well, you have to be good at it, and I'm not very good at it. Okay. But anyway, I like this because the dialogue wasn't that long. I mean, <clears throat> it was. Simple. It was easy to read. And it was a very visual movie. Yeah, and it, very, very visual. And it was, and I enjoyed it. And it, it's funny because um, I don't know. Should we say how she gets pregnant? Can, can we can we move into the next like plot? Okay, go part? ahead. Yeah, go. Because yeah, she's leading this double life as a as a murderer, and then she murders like an entire house, <laughs> and goes on the run. And she assumes the identity of a, of, a, of a boy who's been missing for like 10 years. Yeah. And then her dad finds him, or her, or him. So then there's that relate. Now that be, the movie becomes about that. Yeah. And <laughs> it's it, like, what? <laughs> but, but you know what? The man was a fireman, and he knew that his son was dead. 
because remember in the well, final... Now you're really giving a lot too much away. So you, what? You're giving way too much away. It's about the relationship between them. You know, he thinks it's his son. No, he doesn't think it's his son. Okay, you're giving way too much away. You just... Huge, uh, huge spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, guys. Spoiler alert. You don't have to... You didn't have to say that part. But anyway... Yeah, do. No, you don't! <laughs> Gosh, Gracie. <laughs> Gracie, the spoiled spoiler. Yes, exactly. Anyways, um, it was really, really, really good. It gets weird. Yeah, I mean, especially he was doing steroids, huh? Because he wanted to be young. Yeah. That was, like, so weird. And the whole the whole thing is weird. And basically, she gets pregnant by a car, right? Yeah, she has sex with a car. <laughs> and she's... And then... And she gets pregnant by the car. Yeah. yeah. And she thinks she's, like, bleeding, and it's all oil. She's well, like, she is bleeding, but like she's you said, she's discharging oil. She's discharg discharging oil. Yeah, motor oil. Motor oil. <laughs> it's so weird. I thought when she and then and then the relationship with this new dad, which is really wasn't his dad, and that wasn't his daughter. He 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 ended up knowing that she was a girl because he saw her breast. And he didn't care. He didn't care. He said, "You're still my son." So anyway, she gets, she's having this baby, and he's he's a fireman, so he delivers the baby. Spoiler alerts. Well, I thought she was going to have a Volkswagen. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was going to give birth to a car. Yeah, me too. But uh, <coughs> it's kind of cool the way they did the birth. Yeah. But yeah. Um, it's a great movie. <laughs> it's a weird <laughs> movie. France. It's like weird, weird movies. The winner of the Palme d'Or this year, uh, the director, her name was Julia Decor now or something like that. She directed another movie called Raw. Mm -hmm. about a girl, a vegan girl, who goes to, like, a cannibal society or mm -hmm. something like that. So, <laughs> so she's known for her weird shit. So, question. So, as she was screwing this car, uh -huh. do you think the stick shift was the um Yeah, the that's penis? what I was, I was like, you know, well, you know, where, where's she getting it from? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think it was the stick shift. You, you know? think it was the stick shift? Yeah. But she was in the back seat. And I like, well, it was a big stick shift. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it was the, the first car that she made love to was a low rider. Yeah. You know, and that thing started, you know, hopping up and down. Oh, yeah, when they know, were having sex, it was hopping up and down. It's great, great movie. It was like, she was taking, it was like, they, it was, he was calling her, he was knocking at the door. Oh, yeah, that's Remember, right. he was knocking at the door, that's when she went outside to the car. <coughs> oh, excuse me, because she was taking a shower. Yeah, and how did she figure out to have sex with that car? Was, do you remember why she? Because he called her. Yeah. But she liked cars, and she would, she would always be, and that was her whole thing. She was, uh, she would hump the cars like she was having sex with the cars all the time anyway. When she was on top of the car dancing. Well, that's when she was modeling, you mean. Yes, but she She's was, modeling but she was always rubbing herself like she was having sex with the car. Well, all models do that when they model with cars. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Well, now you do. Oh, God. Anyways, so glad I didn't take that job as a you know. <laughs> yeah, right. My hips would be sore trying yeah, to drive right. a car. <laughs> oh, and then there was one scene where she had like bruises, right? Bruises in between like her her thighs and yeah. stuff. Yeah. So yeah, great film, everybody. Great Weird. film. <laughs> Weird film. It was in is it, it was in color or black and white. It was in color. Was it a color? Yeah, you can't tell the difference. Oh, you know what? There was so much black. Is that, is, does that explain this? Well, there was so much black oil in the in the movie in this movie. But the movie was very colorful. Um, I don't know why you're asking. Because you I'm thinking it was black and white. It was very colorful. It looked great. Um, oh yeah, the fires and stuff. The, the whole thing. The whole thing was really good. Do you have any favorite uh, Halloween movies, Grace? No, but I I went in my um, collection to pull out some movies that I had for Halloween. Okay, well, what did you pull out? I, I, I just could tell I haven't watched these movies. That car didn't pull out in the movie. I guess not. <laughs> what do you have, Grace? So anyway, um, Glenn said, pull out a movie if you have any um, any like horror movies. And I'm like, he goes, but only pick one. Don't pick a bunch. But Glenn, look what I picked. A I bunch? Have, no. Well, actually, I have 32 movies. Oh, wow. 32 horror movies. <clears throat> 44 hours of horror movies. What kind of horror movies? All kinds. Mm, that doesn't look like all kinds. Oh my gosh, read the back, see? <laughs> I haven't even opened the pack. It says Midnight Horror Theater, 32 movies on two discs. Isn't that crazy? Okay, she probably got this, uh, where'd you get this? Best Buy? Probably. Does Fries? It, does it say in the corner? It doesn't say in the corner. There's no price on here, but it's two discs that has 32 movies on it. 
including Blood of Dracula, uh, Blood Mania, Brain Twisters. I never heard of any of these. Oh, you have a oh, you have a DVR. Uh, a DVR. I mean, do you have a CD player? Uh, CD player. Oh no, what is that? DVR. <laughs> Fuck, I don't even know what you call them. These are DVDs. Oh, DVDs. Oh, I forgot what we would call those nowadays. But looks like there's a bunch of uh, you know, like B movies and stuff. Yeah, there you know, is a lot bad. of B movies. Um, I mean, and you haven't even opened it. No, I I I gotta hook up my um. Oh, this is what it is: Undead, The Vampire Collection, and Gore House Greats. So you know, it's like cool? a lot of B stuff. Yeah. Well, I've got a B thing here too. Check this one out. This one's called Midnight Movies, uh, double feature. It's Devils of Darkness and Witchcraft. Uh, these movies are from I think they're from the Hammer Studios, but uh, they're cool to, to to look at. the The women are uh, are hot. But uh, the movies suck. <laughs> oh, you've already watched the movies? Yeah. So uh, I haven't seen any of mine. I'm gonna have to hook up my um, DVR. So I, I brought a few. I brought a few movies. Oh, what else? Uh, let's see. Carrie. Check out the cover of this cover of Carrie. No, is that the a new version or the old one? No, this is the old one. Oh, the one with um, John Travolta. Sissy Spacek, John Travolta, directed by Brian De Palma. Uh, have you ever seen that that cover? No. Yeah, this is a really awesome cover. It's an alternate um, art. Looks great on the the camera there. It's uh, Carrie, and uh, still a great movie. That was a good movie. Yeah. Another classic, uh, The Shining. This is a collector's uh, edition of The Shining, which includes like behind the scenes and it has the maze on here. It says uh, the all work and no play make. Jack a doll boy over and over and over and over again on that thing and the last but not least I brought these two movies uh, these are from shoot where are these from oh these are from Brazil uh -huh. uh, these, this is a character called Coffin Joe are you dusting, um, are you dusting them off yeah <laughs> played by uh, Jose, Jose uh, Marins Jose Mo Mojica Marins <laughs> And he came up with this character called Coffin Joe and a series of movies during the late 60s, Ooh. black and white. And the first one is called At Midnight, I Will Take Your Soul. Ugh. And uh, these movies are pretty, pretty creepy for their time. Mm -hmm. uh, this dude is a, 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 a you know, um, an undertaker who basically kills women. <laughs> no, of course. And then the second one is called This Night I'll Possess Your Corpse. Oh, and she's already dead. Right. She so uh, there's the, her? the two movies. Those wow. are uh, some some cool uh, some cool movies for I know, these are, for Halloween. This is pretty cool too. Maybe I should On our Halloween episode. Maybe I should hook up my uh, VCR and watch these. Um, oh my god, you just opened it? Yeah, on Halloween night. Yeah, why not? Well, that's the whole idea, isn't it? Oh, see here, that, look at, this is the cover. Okay, so this is the actual cover on her her thing. It shows how low budget they are. Well, yeah, look at this because one. Because the other cover had like Bella Lugosi on it and all that. I mean, that's a, that's a false advertising. It right sure there. is. Yeah, these are total uh, B gore house movies, like grindhouse movies. Oh gosh, they lied to me. So, you should be fun to watch them. Yeah. Probably really dumb. Like this food we're about to eat, which looks very scary. All right, shall we do this? Shall we? It's 99 cent store time. Let's do this real quick, Gracie. I'm not looking forward to this. Here's a... Here's a what? Plate? I mean, oh, that's a plate, thanks. <laughs> that's okay. this, look at this plate here. <laughs> thanks, <laughs> Grace, for the plate. I was thinking of plate. By the way, check out the pumpkin, everybody. Yeah. Huh? So what I thought, you know, Glenn loves top ramen. Yeah. Blood loves Top Ramen. So you know what? Mexican food is getting into the Top Ramen. Oh, really? Yeah, because did you hear Tapakio has Top Ramen? Tapakio? Uh, Tapakio. Okay, you know my Yeah, Tapakio does have ramen. They have their own line of ramen. Look cups. at this. Instant, what is this? Hold on, you're going to... Instant pozole. Pozole flavored ramen. Exactly. That looks terrible. Absolutely terrible. Look at that. Oh and my it's, it's, god. And it's meatless. There's no meat in it. Okay, so, so you know how, it's a, it's this is chicken flavor. It says instant ramen soup, pozole chicken flavor. And what is this? This one is beef menudo. Oh my god, hold that one up there. 
That one looks, that one's gonna look lovely. Okay, so I'm not looking forward to this. Why? You love ramen. Yeah, but not menudo flavored ramen. There's no meat in it, so what do you think? It doesn't matter, about? it's menudo flavored. And then this is pozole chicken flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the, 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 the pozole. Okay, and first. I'm gonna, oh no, producer, uh, excuse me. It's not for you, honey. Oh, wow. Wow, smells like, uh, smells like chicken uh, mm -hmm. pozole. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try it. Have some. Okay, let me get this guy out of here. <laughs> okay, let's see. I was gonna get a spoon and go. In you know, you don't eat ramen with a spoon. You have to use a fork. Uh, yeah, she wanted to get a I eat her was, ramen with a spoon. Uh, a okay, good. Good luck with that. Mmm. Mmm. This is really good. Very salty. All noodles are salty, aren't they? Not like this, though. This is, uh, this actually tastes like chicken soup. Mmm. This is, this just tastes like those, um... Tastes um. like chicken cup of noodles. Mm-hmm. And this tastes like beef. Beef. Really? Yeah. Yeah, the chicken pozole just tastes like chicken cup of noodles. Uh huh. And this is the the menudo yeah. beef menudo flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it comes with the noodles, and you have with hot water. It even comes with like a little, like a little package of grease. No. <laughs> really? Grease. No, I don't know if it's grease, but it looked like like a little grease thing. No. Your basic noodles, right? Yeah, it just tastes like um. You know what it is? It just has a little spice to it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Last year I made birria, beef, and made uh, ramen from that, so. Really? Should probably try that again this year. What do you think? Yeah. Well, you're making a... I'm gonna have another bite of this, and then I'm done. Well, look at that fucking bite. This is the whole container. <laughs> Damn. I do love ramen. Mm. And I hope you love the first half of this show. Mm -hmm. Hit the thumbs up and stay tuned for the second half. We'll be right back. And, uh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're back. We're back. Oh, not that shit again. So, anyway, I, I wanted to let you know. What, what is this? I wanted to let you know we're not done with food yet. Oh no! Cause you know how I, we I should be. When I find weird shit, I love to bring it to the show. Yes. And look, what is this? This is cheddar cheese. Oh no! This is jalapeno, jalapeno cheddar sausage bites, cinnabon. So it looks like this. It's a cinnabon sweet, and then it has jalapenos, and it's a little sausage. And this is what they look what? like. What? <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is what they look like. Oh, these look terrible. But anyway, I hope I heated them enough. It said one minute for two, so. Yeah, these are from the Cinnabon Company, and then they're, they're pigs in a blanket, basically. Yeah. And, and this it is smells a... smells like has raisins in it. It smells good. Yeah, it smells like a, a, a Cinnabon with a hot dog, wrapped around a hot dog. Mmm. This is freaking good. Mmm. It's good, huh? Not bad. <laughs> it's good. I gotta admit. Why would they make these though? I mean. They wanna be creative. And what's the jalapeno cheddar? It's inside, I guess. Mm hmm. In the cinnamon bun? Or maybe it's in the wee. Mmm. I don't know, but I gotta admit, this is pretty good. Yeah, jalapeno cheddar um, sausage. Oh, it's a sausage that's a jalapeno. With a cinnamon bun wrapped around it. Oh my god. Mmm. What do you think? I hate to admit it, but I like it. <laughs> They're good. They're kind of gross. Grocery outlet. Really? You got those at grocery outlet? Yep. Grocery outlet, bargain market. <laughs> Very good. 
Well, thank you for sharing that, Grace. Yeah. Every time I have something weird, I have to bring it to the show. Do they sell those at Cinnabon? At the, the mall? Maybe they do. I don't know. I don't go to the mall shopping. You, do they still have Cinnabon? Yeah. Hmm? Anyways. My nephew has been going to... Mm, sorry, I'm talking with my mouth full. He's been going to Costco, mm -hmm. and they have this thing is, with cinnamon buns. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, you rip it apart. Big round circle. Cinnamon buns glazed. In the last two weeks, he's already bought two. <laughs> so we haven't mentioned our, our pumpkin over here. I've been carving a pumpkin, you know, uh, to look our, like our producer. Uh, hopefully we can get a get nice shot of that uh, by the end of the show. Yeah, we'll just turn the lights off and then you can see it. It's already rotting. Really? Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it here in the studio, Grace. Oh, so it can rot like last year I yeah. had one and rot, rot it off at the bottom? Because Glenn has the, if you notice, the top looks really nice. Because he doesn't cut, carve the top and pull it out. He carves underneath. Yeah, you're, supposed to carve, you're supposed to carve the bottom. Okay, well. She always makes a big deal about that. I don't know why. I guess because mine's stuck. Because <laughs> I don't think anybody else does <clears throat> does that. Anyways, what is this? You know what this is. This oh my is God. yum yum time. Universal Yum's box. We've got another one. I was supposed to cancel it and I forgot. So did you, did so. you open your book up so you can write down what um, country it is? It is? Open my book up. Yeah, well, didn't we have them be, haven't we been writing the countries in the front? Yeah, I think you've been writing them down. They're all right here. Mm, okay, yeah. And uh, I'm getting tired of trying to guess what country it we is. We haven't got it once. Since he's been getting these for like over a year, we have not once got it right. So I'm going to say Mexico again because Mexico? Mexico never comes up. What do you say? No. I'm going to say Chile. Have we haven't had chili? No, we okay. haven't had chili. <laughs> Does chili have candy? Do you want to open it or what? Yeah, you open it. Okay, here we go. What country is it from this time, folks? It's always Asian countries. It's always European countries, isn't uh, it? What's wrong with that? Nothing, it's just always European. Here we go, and it is from... Where? Indonesia. Oh, see another Asian. We been we just skipped the Asian. Indonesia. Right? All right. That's Asian, correct? Yes. Here we go. Pretty cool, I, I huh? I think that's all they do is Asian. Indonesia. Uh, another cool sticker here. This one says, "I got served in Indonesia." Man. The uh, tennis player there. Yeah, I think you got to count with. <laughs> All right, what do we got in here? Let's go. Uh, let's go through these real quick. Okay. This says. Okay, I'm gonna stand up. You hand it to me, and I'm gonna um. This says Tic Tac, cassava snack. Oh gosh. That's uh like a little grain snack. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And w what do we always get in these things? Wafers. Do, wafers. Another wafer. This one's called. Siphon wafer duo. Every wafer chocolate wafer. and pandan cream. Pandan cream. All right. Next up, looks like we've got some gummies. These are called Yupi Milly Moos. <laughs> those are like, what are those, gummy cows? Yeah, you need to delete this service. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next up, Usagi baths. No, Usagi balls. That's what they're called, usagi balls. So they're like wasabi, or they're like balls, like um, cheese Barbecue balls? flavored. Oh gosh. Oh look, they're getting, they're getting uh, Latin over here. This is, tort it just says tortilla. Oh. Roasted corn flavor. And the company is called Crip Crip. <laughs> Crip Crip? Yeah. There's a grilled corn there on the top. Well, at least it doesn't. Crip, have, crip. At least it's not like last time they had the Mexican dude. Right. Pedro. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Getting sweet now. This is like an Italian thing. It says Coffee Joy. Looks like some crackers, like some coffee crackers. They look and it looks like graham crackers. Right. And last but not least, this is a, so they're like their bar. They always have like a candy bar. It's white chocolate. It's white chocolate. It says it's bang bang. Wafers, cream, white chocolate, and coconut. More wafers. I think that these 
come from different countries. And then they send it to and say they're from Indonesia because that's where they got them from. Okay. All right. What, what are we trying? <laughs> Let's try the tortilla chips. <laughs> and I got scissors. Tortilla chips from Indonesia. From the Crip Crip Company. It just tastes like Granny Goose. Yeah. Like they taste like artificially flavored corn corn chips. Yeah. Pretty gross. No. Okay. You want to try out some soggy balls? Yeah, let's have some soggy balls. Ooh, soggy balls. Barbecue flavor. They're cheese little balls. cheese puffs. They're, ch they're puff balls. I think it tastes like ass. <laughs> ass nuggets. They're gross. Yeah, those are pretty gross. Or just very plain. I don't taste the barbecue. No. All right, let's have that green wafer yes. oh. with pandan cream. Grace is cutting the actual wafer in half. <laughs> Not either. Another boring ass wafer. Okay, come on. How about boring is this here? Kai? I don't know. Wafers are really boring. I mean, tastes like a wafer. Mm-hmm. With some cream shit inside. Uh -huh. Okay, next. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. What is this? Tic Tac. These it's are... a cassava snack. Oh gosh, what's a, what's a cassava snack? It's a little grain, like a little grain snack. Really? Oh gosh. They look like those dot, that dot ice cream. What is so, it called? They look like dipping dots. Yeah, dipping dots. Sometimes yeah. they give those uh, with ramen. What, these? Yeah, to add some crunch. You can order them on the side. Those don't have any flavor, do they? No. Pretty plain, huh? Yeah. All right, how about the Bang Bang Bar? <laughs> oh, gosh. This shit, yeah, you better... Like, yeah, I better cancel this shit. Yeah, and you know that when you bought those stuff from the um, Wii store? Mm -hmm. I went to Daiso. They have it there? They have it there. So? I'm just letting you know. Well, what exactly? Those Another ones. wafer. Yeah. What exactly? Um, I can't remember which one it was, but we did. They did have uh, some of the um, those snacks that you bought from we. Not the Lay's, but the. I bet they don't. They do. Well, they I should have took a picture and brought it. You should have, because I don't believe you. Mmm, this is coconut. Yeah, the Bang Bang White Chocolate Coconut Bar, not bad. It's like a wafer, though. Mm -hmm. Another damn wafer. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it tastes like a Tic Tac, it would have been okay, but not even a Tic Tac. All right, let's try these. Um, looks like coffee-flavored graham crackers. It says coffee and joy. Oh, my gosh. Italian moment. I have a coconut methyl on my tab here. Yeah, oh. definitely crackers. A little thing of crackers. Very thin crackers. Oh yeah, very thin. Okay, coffee, coffee and joy, coffee joy. Maybe you have to dip them in your coffee and tea. I think that's what they're for. Yeah. You know what? I think the U.S. has the best candies. <laughs> they, they do have a strong coffee flavor, actually. All right, these. So, not bad. Not bad on that. Okay. Okay. The last one? Last one is these gummy cows. <laughs> Maybe the other ones had cactuses and stuff on them. Oh, yeah. That was fun. And these are all shaped as little melted cows to get. I don't know if that's a cow. Here. I don't know what flavor you want. I got a purple cow. Oh, they're yeah. little cows. Teeny weeny little cows. Oh, wow. And they're like all striped and shit. Mm hmm. And stuck together. Mm hmm. And we pull these guys apart. Why? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. They're pretty good. Did you put the red one up there? Is there a red one? Yes, there mm -hmm. is. Cute little cows. 
This one looks like raw meat. Well, I don't yeah, know. they're little cows, little gummy cows. Um, whatever. That's Universal Yums from Indonesia. And, um, yay. yay. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, you need to definitely cancel this bullshit. Because I, I don't see anything from, you know, South America, North America, Well, Canada. I don't see anything, like, exciting, really. No, um, I don't think anything, any of their... Anything. Or um, nothing tasted great, you know. We didn't taste anything on here. I was like, oh, man, that I want good. another one of those or something, right? These coffee crackers are not bad, well, but uh, it's not worth how much you probably paid for the whole container. I don't know. The whole well, container. I mean the whole. Well, the whole box that you buy. Oh well, that's enough of those yum yums. I'm tired of thinking about a country that I don't even know fucking about, and then. Should I get another subscription box? <laughs> no, cancel this bullshit. <laughs> how about one more? <laughs> No. Anyways, really? are you, are you, you gonna watch it? another uh, a horror movie? Um, are, you, are you gonna watch any of these uh, these B movies? I, I think I have to hook up my um, DVR. Is it DVR? DVR. Oh, what the fuck's a DVR? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Would, uh, what is it, Grace? Do you, you have one of these? I don't know what a DVR player is. Yeah, that's a recorder, isn't it? Oh, isn't it? Okay. I what are you recording? <laughs> you recording something? Uh, I don't know why people call it DVR. Um, Oh, so you don't have a DVD player hooked up? Oh, DVD? Uh, no, I have one, but I don't have it hooked up. Okay. I'm sure it's not be that hard to hook it up. No. So I'll have to hook it up. And, uh, I mean, I can even hook it up. You know what else you need? What? You know, you need a good record player. I have a good record player. No, you don't. Mm -hmm, it's up there. That is not a good record player. She's talking about one of these, uh, Ones that comes in a suitcase. It's not like a suitcase. These all, all I, wait, in did I point right there? Um, wait, did, uh, wait, okay, wait, wait. What's the brand? What's the brand? I don't know. I have to go look at it. It's it, she needs a, Sony, a good one. Okay. Well, we should hook it up so we can play some stuff over here. Okay. No. I have to. It's over there. It's in the the other room. Okay. Well. Yeah. Anyways, in the meantime, let's do this vinyl moment. <laughs> okay. You want to do vinyl? Okay. Let's do vinyl. Yeah, let's do some vinyl. Um, vinyl. I tried more to vinyl. do um, more. We haven't done it yet. I'm, I'm just saying more vinyl. Like you, you have new. You buy every week. You buy new vinyl. <coughs> um, not always. I mean, this is from my collection. Okay, got it. It's from your collection. You know, okay, uh, I wasn't sure. Oh, so you're bringing from your collection? I was thinking that you every. Week, I have a very big collection. I know you do, and I was so, thinking that you're. You know, I can just pick, uh, you know, some old records or, oh, okay. or do I, a theme. You know, okay. I've, I've done themes on here before, yeah, including today. Okay. I'm about to do, uh, like, a little scary theme, all right? Oh, wow. So, okay. you know, I brought some records that I think are scary. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, Black Sabbath, original. Their first album, all right? This is original press right here. Is that when he bit the bat's head? No. Uh, this is on the Warner Brothers uh, label. Uh, pretty good, Pretty good copy. The uh, the sleeve is um, it's got some wear and tear on it as you can see on the bottom, but the uh, the record itself is uh, VG VG plus. There's no uh, scratches. Plays very well on here. This is their first album, Grace. Okay. Do you like Black Sabbath? Um, no, I've never really heard. I I, I heard of them, but I've never heard their music. Okay, and well, I know they're from my era, right? Well, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, one one day you'll hear them. I was more into R and B in high school. Yeah, I know. I wasn't um, into. You were not a rock and roll girl. No, I was not a rock and roll girl. So I've seen this album going around, and uh, one of the dudes uh, who sells me records had it, and I'm like, I'll take that. It's a Disney. Movie. It's a Disney record. It's chilling, thrilling sounds of the haunted house. Oh shit! All right. Um, as you can see, it's on the Disneyland label, so it's a Disney record. Is the little lady on there? Uh, no, this is not the, the Haunted no. Mansion right? Oh, no. no, please. It's so annoying. I do that really well, though. Uh, no, you don't. Yes, I do. Yeah, it's very annoying. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is not the sounds from the Haunted Mansion. This oh, just says, not. chilling, thrilling sounds of the Haunted House. 
and it just says things like, you know, the haunted house, the very long fuse, the dogs. It's just sound effects, basically. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, the record's in really nice condition. And I'll probably be playing that... For Halloween. For Halloween. So the kids can hear a bunch of weird shit coming out of the house. You should see, Glenn has three witches that are taller than I am. Then he has another witch that's dancing. Right. And then he has skulls all over the place. Exactly. So anyways... He has his house decorated. I've brought this uh, record before on, on one of our past episodes, but it looks so cool. I want to bring it back. And I want to bring the DVD uh, of it. This is Mad Monster Party. All right. This is the 1960s um, puppet tune movie, uh, movie from uh, Rankin Bass. They're the people who made, you know, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and Santa Claus Coming to Town, all those little puppet tunes. They did a Halloween one, and it's called Mad Monster Party. And I've got the DVD, or I've got the Blu-ray right here. That's the movie. That's the movie. The Monster Mash. Da, da, da. Uh, no, Monster Mash is not on here. No, it's not on here. Uh, this is an original soundtrack. Uh, called Mad Monster Party. Uh, the 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 title track features uh, Ethel Ennis, uh, who was uh, a singer from uh, I forgot I don't know much about Ethel Ennis. Anyways, I like her voice. She sings the uh, the title of the the song Mad Monster Party, and it's got kind of like um, I don't know groovy loungy kind of soundtrack. So nice. let me show this. And it's a gatefold, of course. You see the uh, the skeleton band on there. Yeah, cool. Did you saw it? And, and then my the red hair and the red hair showed up. Yeah, that was cool. And then my favorite part is the actual vinyl. Can you hold on to this real quick, Gracie? Oh, the vinyl comes in this cotton candy swirl. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. It's a cotton candy swirl vinyl. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. So yeah, Mad Monster Party, great movie, great uh, soundtrack, very uh, cool soundtrack. Oh, even uh, Boris Karloff's in it. Yeah, he does the voice of like the professor. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a cool little movie. I think you could find it on Netflix or one of those things. On yeah, on Amazon Prime. Oh, okay. I believe, but uh, what's it called again? Mad Monster Party. Okay, I'll have to look it up. Yeah, from the 60s. Uh, Gracie should know, but uh, anyways. Last but not least, <laughs> do you know who Aleister Crowley is? No. He was a... Um, Scientist? No, not exactly. More of a, a mystic and an occultist uh, uh -huh. from England. He started his own, you know, like pagan religion in the, like the early, I don't know, early 1900s or whatever. Uh, you could call him a witch or witch or a magician or... Anyways, I have a, a copy of one of his uh, recordings. They were like these um, readings, basically, uh, from his teachings. Uh, all the, the dark... This one's called Black Magic. Wow. And... Uh, <laughs> It says right here, <clears throat> original wax cylinder recordings uh, remastered for the first time. So he recorded this stuff on little wax cylinders, which is the mm -hmm. way they used to record stuff. And they took it and they put it on this album and remixed it with music from uh, Hawkstrell, Rituals, uh, Joseph Van Wiesem, and Kill Shelter. So that's like a... And Have you heard it yet? Uh, not yet, and it comes on this uh, beautiful uh, purple vinyl. Oh wow! And it's got you know his uh, the symbol of his uh, his cult and his uh, his religion or whatever. And I don't think the purple comes up on the camera there, but uh, it looks pretty cool. And I bet it sounds really scary. Yeah. I Listening think to him. Uh, Talk about his uh, his teachings and uh, his. What's uh, he teaching them? Ah, uh, man, he believed that each uh, each you know moment in time was from a different eon. Uh, I don't know what happened here, 
but um, let's uh, take a little uh, a little break. <laughs> oh, did you? I think Alistair Crowley probably uh, turned off our machine. So yeah, all of his teachings and shit, and uh, maybe I'll play this. Uh, during Halloween and blast it out of the house. See what the kids think about that. You'll be scaring the kids. <laughs> How do you scare, scare everybody in the house? So what? So what? It's Halloween. What are you gonna do uh, that's... Uh... Give out candy. And, and what else? You're not gonna play any scary music? Or... No, because I Are you don't... gonna dress up? No. Why not? I'm not doing anything. I'm just gonna give out candy and then wait for a Monday show. That's it. Jeez, Gracie, that's not really uh, getting into the spirit or, no. you know, well, why not? Well, what's with all this? I mean, come on. I mean, you, don't you want to represent all this stuff here? There's nothing to represent. Yes, there is. I mean, come on, you decorate uh, Everyone... in here, and but yet you're not going to decorate outside no, or dress you know up what? for the kids or I didn't anything? I didn't decorate this year. for. Um, I usually decorate, but I didn't decorate this year. It's because I had my roof done. And he asked me, do you want everything covered? And I said, oh, my garage is full of stuff. There's like no way. Well, oh, my gosh. So anyway, all this stuff's all over the place in my garage. I'm going to have to take everything out and dust it and whatever. Because, oh, it's just a big mess. So because of that, the kids suffer this year. They're not suffering because I'm going to be outside sitting giving them candies. So shut the fuck These up. These poor man. kids, man. Poor kids. I get... <laughs> You know what? Let's go to my collectible and you quit talking about it. Right. <laughs> trying to make me be a bad person because I'm not dressing up. Should I wear a witch hat? Yeah. Let's scare the kids. Yeah, why not? Hey, these are not bad. These taste like graham crackers. I know. So anyway, I have a collectible and so we're still with the Halloween stuff kind of. Mm -hmm. So I have and I, I Dark Shadows is not Halloween, but since you have LPs, I have a Dark Shadows jacket. Oh, can you see that? Yeah. That Dark Shadows cool. jacket. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it because the, um, the lights that we have are glaring on it. See the jacket? Okay, what kind of jacket? Uh, it's an album. Uh, it's an album sleeve, right? Yeah, it's an album sleeve. It looks no, like No, it's a jacket. The outside of the album is a jacket. Only reason I know is because I worked at a place where they made LPs okay. and cassette players, and they call these the jackets. And it's Dark Shadows, the original music from Dark Shadows of Valium 2. So I have this. I don't have the music because I don't have the record, but I have everybody's autograph. Yeah, I can see that. So that's what's cool. cool. That's what's cool about this. And so it's it's a gatefold basically. And it's the front of the gatefold. Uh, is there something like on the other side, like in you know? I don't know. I haven't taken it apart. So it's basically yeah, it's it's the jacket, it's the gatefold of the of the album, without the album. But she has it signed by the whole cast. Yes. Bar. Pretty cool. I'm gonna hold hold it. Maybe get a a different uh, angle over here. Yeah, the lights are on. There it. you go. Look at. You got it. You can see all the different signatures. But Angelique's. Um, and where the girl did you... who played Angelique, because I went to the festival. Oh, that's right. You went to the Dark Shadows Festival. Yes. And they wrote Gracie, G-R-A-Y-C. You remember how I was going to do my name like that in comedy? Yeah. But, yeah. I even have Jonathan, the guy who played Barnabas' autograph. Yeah, Jonathan Freed is on there. Everyone's on there. Laura Parker that played um, Angelique. You know? And uh, it's really cool. It's one of my pride and joys. I even got the guy who played Quentin on here. I even got a picture with him. Ugh, he, I, cool. He was hot when I was young. I think that's why I like tall men that look like him. All right. Well, you know, is he still around? Oh, yeah, he is. Well, why don't you try and, like, you know, please. give him a call or something? It's a married man, please. Oh, okay. Well, anyways. He's a married old man now. We'll try Jonathan Freed or something. He's, he's gay and dead. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, well, anyways. Um, let's 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 show off the uh, the the pumpkin. Oh yeah, why don't we turn the light off and then you can see it? Okay. How's that sound? That sounds great. So maybe I should hold it and you turn. Okay, the light there you go. Go go on and hold it. I'll hold. Ooh, shit. As we end the show here. Well, it's pretty heavy. You better hurry up. Oh boy. The light. Where are you going? The light. There's a light switch there. Put in knucklehead. And uh, I'll go ahead and turn off the uh, the studio lights. 
Right? Yep. They're both there. And, um... You can hold it because it's really heavy. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, anyways, we want to thank everyone for listening. Thank you. <laughs> and watching. Uh, have a happy Halloween. Tune in next uh, Monday. We'll have a special guest. Our friend uh, Isaac Flaco Martinez will be on. Uh, talking about his... Uh, near-death experience oh, on yeah. Day of the Dead. I think we should do it. We should have done our whole show like this, Glenn. Check it out. There's the cat. Look at look at our key. Look at our producer. Huh? What do you think of that? Anyways. It's really cool. But ladies look, and gentlemen. Hey, look how cool that looks. We should have done our whole show like that. I know. Thank yeah. you for joining us, everybody. Yes. Have a happy Halloween. Goodbye. Oh, no. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for listening. Thank you for listening. Be safe. And be safe. Mm-hmm. That looks really cool. Okay. Hey, that looks cool. We should have done a whole show like that in the dark. Huh? It's a cat. Yeah. It's good. Hey, we should have done the whole show like that. Look how cool that looks. Goodbye. That looks pretty good.